Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Just Let It Out. I'm DJ. Hey, I'm Alex. And uh, we're out of alcohol um, because we're too cheap to buy beer. And since this channel hasn't really picked up any viewers, we can't afford to buy any. That's up to you guys. You guys got to share it. You got to let people know. You got to tell people about us. You want to see us drink? We need, you know what I'm saying? Got to get them views going. This glass. Beer money. That's right. Glass is empty. Uh, empty. <laughs> this is horrible. This is a bad way to be. Yeah, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I want to talk about something that a friend of mine, Steve, brought up, and it was kind of a, a joke on his part, but it's something that he and I have actually talked a little bit about kind of off camera. Uh, he brought up the topics of MILFs, and if you're not familiar with what the term MILF means, then you need to not watch our channel because yeah. you're probably under the age of 18 anyway, and you need to not be here. We're both, and I, I hate to use this term, middle age, but we're both getting into our, we're in our 40s. I'm going to be 43 in September. You're 41. 41. Um, I call it not middle-aged. A lot more experienced. A lot more experienced. And I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll get to that in a minute. I had a patient that gave me an interesting perspective on growing older and aging and everything like that. You and I both came out. I'm not going to turn this into an ex-wife bashing video because <laughs> we could. <laughs> we could, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the high road on that. We both came out of very long, difficult marriages. Let's just... Leave it at that. Yes. Okay. You and I went about two or three years ago when I moved back from New York. We went into our single guy phase. Yeah. And boy, we turned it up. It was <laughs> we party. We had some great stories come out of that one. Woo! But in in, in in playing the field, so to speak, and you know, checking out women and you know, not necessarily looking to get into a relationship because mm -hmm. God knows I wasn't ready. No, no, no. Jesus I don't Christ, know. you came out of a ten year marriage. No. I came out of a ten year marriage. Yeah, the last no, thing no, I wanted no. to do at the time was lock myself back into something. Oh uh, hell no. But you look at our age at the time, we were in our late thirties, we were starting to slowly dip our toes back into the dating field. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I've noticed is that dating at this age is a hell of a lot different than it was when we were in our 20s oh hell yeah it's just it's completely different your mind is in a different way your the what you're looking for what you're looking to get is probably going to be a little different yeah. um um now i'm actually thinking with my head instead of my head yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and that, that's key that's right there big, that's a big difference. Yeah, because when you go to a bar and you're talking to some girl, and it's like, all right, then she's fine, she looks good, you're buying drinks, you're having a good time, and all of a sudden this starts taking over. No, wait. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is she crazy? Is it, yeah. Is she crazy? <laughs> and I'm not saying it's just women that are crazy, because there's some crazy-ass dudes out there, too. Oh, yeah. I'm speaking from the male perspective. Yes. The first thing you're thinking is, is this chick crazy? Is she going to stab me or something? I don't know. Because when you're 20, 22, you don't give a shit. No, hell no, because you ain't thinking with the right head. You know, you're not thinking, is she crazy? Hey, man, what's going on? Oh. Okay, can she throw Rowan, it? Yeah. And can she it. throw it? Can, can she ride your bareback? You yeah. know? <laughs> is she going to be freak of the week? Get, yeah, exactly. That's what you think about. But as you get older and as we get into, like I said, our late 30s into our 40s, that whole dynamic for me, and I, and I know for you because we talked about it, started to shift a little bit. And you start looking, okay, talk to me. Mm-hmm. Talk to me. Let me see what's going on up here. Uh -huh. I want to know what's in the dome because I, 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 I ain't got no time. I ain't got no patience. And I don't want to be bothered with having to teach. Yeah, <laughs> we're having to deal thing. with childish crap, drama. No. And, and that's where the topic of quote unquote MILFs comes in because mm. you look at it at our age, we start looking at women and yeah, the younger ones, the 20 somethings, maybe even the early 30 somethings, they're great to look at. Yeah. Great to sit, great to window shop. That's nice. Great to observe, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, I want experience. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'll be completely honest with you, dude. I know some people are like, ah, bullshit, nigga, oh, this or this and that. She could be 28 year old, 25 year old, come up to me and uh, try to throw it at me. I'm honestly, uh, at first, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go, but right, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Hold up. What? Why are you trying to throw that? This something wrong with that? What's going on? Here? Um, I don't know. You acting a bit nah. It's like this one. He That's going to be story. a big ass headache. And I like to, I like to bust his balls about this one because when he was first doing his single guy thing after his divorce. Oh no, you're not going to. Oh, I am going to bring that up. <laughs> God damn it! This is why you shouldn't tell your boys everything. <laughs> Because it comes back and so bites you in the ass. Story. He goes out, he's doing his single dude thing. He's, oh, he's, he's out of this place in, in the city he was living at the time. And he's got, he's all dressed up. He's looking good. You know how it is. You get your single, you put your nice stuff on, oh, yeah. you put your hat on, you yeah. shave, you put the smell nice on. Yeah. You're out, you're doing your thing. And he's just out having a drink. Out having a drink. And this sister comes. <laughs> hey, big daddy, what you drinking oh. on? <laughs> She saw me drinking the Patron. It was like, oh, you got some bills, huh? 
Uh -huh. Luckily for my boy, he's smart enough to exactly. You got some bills. He's smart enough to know at this point. Yeah, exactly. You see me as a, with money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll be honest, she came over with the, you know, the thing, hey, and, you know, and the rubbing, what's going on, <laughs> and, you know, being all nice. And let me tell you, when I would have been 25, even if I would have been 28, I would have fell for that shit. Yeah. I would have bought that bitch drinks, this and that. And then who knows, she might have just walked, or I might have got some, but yeah. I, I don't know. But I would have spent some money before I got there. This, uh, nah, I wasn't even, yeah, yeah. Doing, you know, this and that. I, I knew she was trying to work a drink. I will tell you this, she didn't get one. Yeah. Mm, no, because and I saw what was, yeah, you saw, I'll see, cha-ching, yeah, cha-ching, yeah. cha cha-ching, <laughs> no. dollar, dollar. Yeah. I mean, that was all she was about. And that's the difference between 20-something dating and late 30-something dating, because you see that stuff. Uh -huh. I'm not going to say there aren't instances, because there was another story, he and I had a good one. We were at this, we walked into this club, and we'd been out, we were just kind of making our rounds downtown, just, you know, kind of bar hopping, oh. and we go into this, we go into this club. And he's ahead of me, heading towards the bar, and I'm kind of walking in, and this line of girls walks by. <laughs> fine, fine. And they couldn't have been 20-something, maybe 20-something. Mm. There's this one tall, all legs, boobs, and hair. Gets by me. Bye-ya! She smacked me right square in the ass, dude. I'm talking like full palm right on the ass. I'm like, yeah. I looked at him. Like, did that really just happen? He's like, you better go, go get, get that. Back. Turn around, boy, let's go. So poof, I do an about face out the front door with him hot stepping right behind me. I get out to the street and this broad comes up and it wasn't even the one to hit me in the ass. She comes like, hey, you guys want to party? Yeah. And I'm like, and this is a girl that was with him. I'm like, sure, sure. Yeah. I'm not missing a fucking beat though. Somebody's mom, Ma <laughs> somebody's mom, like pushed us apart. Nah, 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 you don't need to touch her. That's my daughter in law. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, thinking, Does she know? <laughs> you know, because she's all over me, buddy. All I did was hit the street yeah. as this kid hits the fucking road. Like, what's going on? Out here? <laughs> yeah, it was just ridiculous. She had mother hen, she's squawking and cackling. And then, and then. <laughs> Meanwhile, we didn't do a damn thing. He got smacked in the ass. And they come outside, bitch, it's all over him. Yeah. It's like, what the hell? And of course, and then we come to find out it was a bachelorette party. Yeah. You know, yeah, so they're in their 20s. Married. Yeah, exactly. Got drunk and then loose. Yep, and that that's what happened. So yeah. you know, you just don't have your faculty. Even if you get shit faced drunk in your late thirties, early forties. You still have your faculties about you to a certain degree. Agree. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and something he and I were talking about, even recently, as it pertains to more specifically the topic of MILFs, mm. I find myself looking at women older than I am. I'm 42. Yeah. And this is something when I was 22, I was like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. That's somebody's grandma. Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? now I'm looking, I'm like, there are some hot, fine-ass looking women in their late 40s, early mm. to mid 50s and I've seen one or two in the early 60s still rocking a body yeah because they're taking care of themselves they're going to the gym they're handling their business and you know what the other difference is they're handling their business so they going to <laughs> they know what they want they know how to get it yep and, and they there's know what no they're doing exactly and there ain't no bullshit there ain't no little games and like <laughs> <laughs> no it's nigga we gonna fuck let's get ready yeah. exactly <laughs> I want to get my wig pulled back one you time. Have, you don't have to take the bypass around the pussy. You just go right straight to it because they want the same thing you do. Exactly. Because they know, just like us, the clock is ticking. Yeah. The yes. window of opportunity is closing very quickly. Yes. And if they want to knock it out before that window closes, they're going to grab you and they're going to let you know from the get-go, look, this is what I want. I mean, this, this is what I want to do. Shut your mouth. Well, Let's go. You handle your business or get out. That's right. <laughs> they're looking at you like we did with girls in our 20s. You hit it, quit it, go. Yeah. Why are you still here? Exactly. You know what? I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, that's fine with me. You know, especially if you are having a good time. You're both mature, old. You know what the deal is. You go, you have your fun, and you move on your way. Exactly. You know, if you want to exchange numbers, you do. If you don't, it's gravy. It's not this all this little bit, and then the next time you see him, it's... Yeah, look at each other like, I know you, I know what you did. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill you. You I never told called all, me. I done told all my friends about you. Ain't no girl going to talk to you ever again. And meanwhile, the girl that she called mm. told you about a week ago is trying to get your digits from her. Yeah, I heard you rock that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can I be next? You pull it up. We heard you do the walls. Yeah. You know? But you know, but you look at it, and it's interesting because the one thing that aggravates me is 
people who are in that quote unquote mature age bracket. Oh yeah, here who, we go the other part. Uh, the other side of this, because unfortunately there are some people, and we know a few of them, yep. who are still acting with that twenty year old thinking with my dick brain, and it drives me absolutely freaking bonkers. How? I've told you this off the record. I have no... I'm in a good relationship. I'm in a stable relationship. I found myself a nice girl. She treats me good. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the yep. relationship is good. The communication is good. The sex is fantastic. If it ended tomorrow, mm -hmm. I would be sad. I would be hurt. Oh, yeah. It would bother There's me, you know, be because she's a wonderful person. If it ended tomorrow, I can tell you without hesitating, I would be okay. You, you damn skip it. I will be just fine. When we were younger, for whatever the freak reason, I didn't want to be alone. I had little yeah. issues sometimes of being alone. It's like if I didn't have a girlfriend, something was wrong with me. Yeah. You know, what's wrong with you? Why can't you have a girl? What? 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 You know, now, it, it would be completely different. Yeah. I would be okay. Okay. Yeah, and it's there are so many people who, and maybe some of it is, and I'm going to get into what this patient, patient shared perspective with me one time. Think of life as like an American football game. Hmm. It's played in quarters. Zero to 20 is your first quarter. 20 to 40 is your second quarter. 40 to 60 is the third, fourth, so on. You get everything after 80 is over time. Right now, we're in that third quarter, and that third quarter is that crucial you do you period in life. Mm -hmm. Why do people in our age range have such a problem being alone. I have no idea. It, 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 something happened wrong in their childhood, I think, or they just they got the mommy daddy issues and that's where they need that they need that blanket. Maybe they need somebody to make decisions for them because they can't do it themselves or they're just I, I don't know. You, I, I, I don't get it. And it's just like going back to what you said before, uh, being like 55 years old and still thinking with your Still are you kidding me? Why are you thinking with this head instead of your pro at fifty something years old? Are you well, fucking retarded? What happened to you in life? Well, some of that goes back to the older, younger dynamic of the relationship, because younger men and women see an older person in their late forties, early fifties, something like that. There, there's almost like a victimization. And that's the, way I, that's the only word I can look at. They look at, they look at this like, okay, this one's set. They're in that mature phase in life where they've set. They've got their career. They've got everything. I'm going to be set up. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I, they're going to take care of me. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's a man or a woman, I'm not sex-sizing this is all. Yeah, it goes either way. Because there are definitely some young guys out there, and I'll get to this in a minute. This is another funny story between him and I, where there are younger dudes trying to hook up with older women so that they can get their shit taken care of and not have to worry about taking care of themselves. And it's a problem on both sides because the older person isn't smart enough to see it or they're so depressed, depressed. about getting older that the fact that someone... A third or half their age is paying attention to them and still feeding them this line of, oh, you're so attractive, you're so, I'm into you, and blah, 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 blah. So they fall for it, and oh my God, yeah, I've still got it. I can still act like I'm 30 again. Uh -huh. And next thing you know, you're thinking with the wrong part of your body, you find yourself broken homeless. Yep. And then once you're broken homeless, they're gone. Yeah. Because he and I almost went with that shit probably about three years ago before I got into my relationship and he got into, this got is into a good his one. deal. This is a good one. We were doing our single guy thing, and we had just gone on. A, no, we hadn't gone on the cruise. This is before the cruise. This is because you and yours weren't hooked up yet, and mine and I weren't hooked up yet. We were talking about going on a cruise, and we'd been planning for this whole cruise with this work thing for about a year. And I was looking online at cruises, blah, 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 blah. blah and we were kind of, you said, we were doing our single guy thing, having a good time. And I looked up, I found something called the Cougar Cruise. Now, the Cougar Cruise is exactly Hi. what it implies that it is. Yes. It's older women going on a cruise to try and hook up with younger men. Yes. And he and I were like, whoa, that's, that's got to be a surefire thing. You can get laid without obligation. You don't have to call nobody. No You don't strings. even have to exchange numbers. If you don't want, you don't even have to know her name. Yeah. You just that. show up. <laughs> We'll have a drink. Yeah, I'm it's, ready to eat. It's simple. And at that point in our lives, that's what we were about. Yeah. Having a good time. And you're damn skippy. So I got to think about it. I'm like, that's not a bad idea. So here, we had it booked. Oh, yeah. We, thought we, were, we were going we're getting on ready. the cruise, man. We just all right, we're going on this date. I'm going to start looking up dates. We're going to figure this out. We got this. We're going. <laughs> about 10 minutes later, I got to look at it. Oh, God. I'm like, <laughs> this is a Cougar Cruise. I'm 39. He's 37. I said, dude. 
You know we're too old for the Cougar Crew. God damn it. It, <laughs> it hurts so bad when he said that. I took the wind out of this poor kid's sails. God damn it, man. In a minute, man. I'm like, we, we are officially too old for the Cougar Crew. This is bullshit. And then he actually found it and read He's like, no, dude, look, read over here. Yeah, they're and looking for 20-something-year-old dudes. dudes. Yes. It so. said it there. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, insulting. So this is part of the upside downside of dating at mid yeah, middle age dating, so to speak. Some bitch. <laughs> what are you going to do with that 20 year old? He ain't got no state power. Uh, Once he's done, he's done. Yeah, uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, I'm let you go first. You know? yeah, hey, you go first and then I'll handle mine. <laughs> I'll take care of him. He's like, eh, eh, eh. oh, you're okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, so, can I go? I'm hungry. <laughs> Let me bring you back something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, God. It's, it's like you said, there's ups and downs to, to middle age dating. I know we've got a couple of people in our, you know, the watch our videos that are kind of in that age bracket. If you're not in an age bracket, you know, think about it. <laughs> think about how you're acting right now because I guarantee you when you're in our age bracket, you're going to look at life a whole lot differently. Yeah, it's going to be a different perspective, man. You're going to be more matured, a little bit, you know, maybe a little weathered a little bit, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Definitely a little there's bit jaded. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, a little bit jaded because... You know, and we say it all the time, of course, it's stuff like this ain't never going to happen, but if I would have known now what I know then, boy, let me tell you, there'd be a whole different story going oh. on right here. Oh, yeah, my whole life would have been different. Oh, I yeah. I you with that. Oh, yeah, son. So, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Please comment down below. I'd like to know your opinion on this topic. If you're an older lady who's into younger guys, <laughs> say something, man. Let us know. I mean, I, you know. We're kind of tied up in situations, but, you know. No, but please, yeah, <clears throat> give us some comments. Let us know what y'all were thinking. So, anyway, that's good. I'm out. Peace. We need alcohol.